her back. We're uh, in the car driving <coughs> off to see our uh, friends in Cowrell. Um, probably not pronounced that properly, but anyway. Cowrell. Cowrell, yeah. Um, <coughs> so we're going off to see them for lunch. We're getting off the farm because it's Brent's last day off and he wanted to get the hell off the farm. <laughs> Who's in a position to say um, they live to work, not work to live? I work to live. I don't live. I don't. I don't live to work. I work to live. That's it. Work to get a paycheck. But I was thinking about it in my in what I do for a living, and seventy percent of what I do, I enjoy. Seventy percent of my job, I enjoy, which is over half. Nearly three quarters, but it's thirty percent that I absolutely loathe. I hate it, and that's just about three months out of the year, which is when I always want to quit and give up. But you've got to push through the bad part so you can get back to the good part, if you know what I mean, eh? If you know, no job. I don't know anyone that loves their job a hundred percent of the time. <clears throat> so I would say I don't love what I do, but I enjoy parts of what I do. And I enjoy it more than I hate it. And with farming, when you hate farming and you lose the passion for it, you have to leave. It's not a job you can do for just a solely a paycheck, even though you get paid. There's too many hours and too many things to do on a farm just for a pay. What the heck are they doing? No idea. Here. So there's cars that went across the centre line that came back in. Maybe there's that farm we're talking about. Something. See? That's that big farm we're talking about. So yeah, so I, I enjoy 70% of my work, the other 30% I don't not like, I hate. But you just gotta get over that 30%. And if you don't love what you do, don't do what you do. Like life's too short to live. We have one life, we die, literally. Don't spend your whole life um, in a job you hate or in a relationship that you hate. Like if you don't really give two fucks about your partner or love your partner, don't be with your partner for the sake of being with them and not being on your own. Because, well, it won't work, would it? Drive your fucking barbie. Yeah, and then he went 
we don't want this quote. You know, if you don't love or don't have passion for what to do, try something new. And I know it sounds easy to do, but you may have to stay in a job you really, really hate to save some money to go and do what you really, really love. That sort of thing. But as we're talking about the grass always gets greener on the other side, just remember, there's 5 million people in New Zealand alone. I don't have a clue how many there are in the world, but there's millions. Now this is what I got out of this conversation from John James. Is no matter how much you hate your job, or hate your life, or hate your routine, someone in the world would die to have what you have right now. So if you are doing something that you absolutely hate, someone else would really, really love to be in the position you're in. Like, don't get me wrong, I, I mean, I, we always, humans want for everything. And if we have everything, we still want more. Hey, like, I would love a new ute. I'd love a jet ski for summer. I'd love a couple of four-wheeler motorbikes. I'd love a couple of kayaks. I'd love a bigger TV. I'd love some more time off work. I'd love some new teeth. I'd love some more of my cars I'm collecting. I'd love some more time off. I see all these things that we... Oh, I don't know, well, that, that's one of the most important ones. So all the things that we want, we keep trying to get, but we don't need. All we really need is housing, warmth, and family. And there's so many people in the world that don't have any of those things. So next time you have a bad day at work, or a bad day at home, just think there's millions of people out there that would literally give up everything to be in your shoes and do what you do. Thoughts? Because we know what your days are like sometimes, and how much you can complain. <laughs> I was going to say bitch. <laughs> yeah, bitch. But we do know how much you can complain yeah, sometimes.
should make it how you want it and you'll get it. <coughs> so to speak. Yeah. That's my opinion. Fuck, I've never heard you be so wise in my life. Mm -hmm. Okay. You get asleep at this morning or something. Only because it's her wedding anniversary as well. And she That's wants you the to only say, reason. I know, 
Yeah, she wants you to say happy anniversary. You know, she says happy birthday, and then I'll say thanks, happy anniversary, and she'll say thanks, and that's our conversation. So, yeah. <coughs> but yeah, so it's. I get a lot of. Not a lot. Not a lot. I get a few people asking me to make videos on. I always want a question to put you down my email. Uh, something about. I am losing, by the way, I am losing subscribers. And I've noticed I'm losing them because my videos have changed. I'm not making like prison cakes anymore or talking about prison or talking about what I used to be like on crack or talking about what happened and the reason I've stopped those videos and I won't make any more is because it's not me anymore like it's not us it's, it's literally but the whole thing is that your, your, part, your YouTube channel is called Changing Life for the Better which means Doesn't matter if it's not much. <laughs> it 
doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how much it is. Yeah. It's the point that we do. Yeah, that's true. It doesn't matter how much money you have in your bank. We do, we would never have used to have money in our bank on a Sunday, not even a dollar. No, true. And, you know, every fortnight we're spending two or three hundred dollars on those toy cars. Yeah. And we're still paying all our bills. <laughs> and you're off for another shopping spree this week. You know how mother went for this? I'll tell you how we do it. Don't ha. I'll tell you how we do it. A lot of people probably don't like it or don't agree with it or think it's silly, but it works in our budget and we can easily do it, so that's how we do it. So we have credit cards, but I tried to pay off a credit card and not use it, just keep it there. But we have that zip, it's called zip. A lot of you all know about it. You know, you get four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hundred dollars credit. You buy something or you buy things, you pay 25% at the time and then every every two weeks they take so much out of your bank. I don't kind of do it that way. I, I Mum takes her zip and goes and spends four or $500 at a time and buys winter clothes or whatever. And then the following pay, I just pay it off. Just pay it so it's out of the way. Um, so it works for us. And it means you can go and and then if you don't, if you don't want to pay it all off at once, you know, it takes, uh, or is it four weeks? Well, we have it for four weeks. Yeah, we have four no, weeks. No, eight weeks, because we get paid four so it's every four four nine. so it's eight, it's eight, it's no, four it's payments. No, it's not payment. It's not eight payments. No, it's not, sorry. Four it's four payments. Four payments. She pays all the bills. And, you know, they take every time, it's, you know, just 25, I think it's 25 percent of, like, if you go to the shop and you spend, like, four hundred dollars, and... 25% of 400, whatever that is, 100. I don't freaking know, 100. <laughs> it's so 100. bad, <laughs> yeah, well, well, the other day when I spent, I spent $250 or something, and $65 came out, so then that's 65 full time, yeah, so but that's we just, 250 but we just pay it straight yeah. away, so you, yeah, zero. I know, but you can pay it, yeah, you can, off every trip, you know, every four weeks, yeah, so I don't pay the bills in our house. Well, the waiters do, but I do not. Mum pays the bills. Well, not really. We sit down together and we do it together. Yeah, what needs to be done and what doesn't yeah. need to be done. And some weeks we can go, oh, we don't need to pay that one. Let me push that one to the next <laughs> one. But other weeks we just go, oh, I want to buy a new little toy car. We'll get this and pay that. But it, it works. Everything works. Everything seems to work. So, yeah. We seem to be able to manage, I think. I'm pretty sure we manage. <laughs> when you can spend 250 or 300 dollars on a toy die cast car. What? When I can? No, when me. You can, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, if you can pay, spend that on that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, um, just to let you all know, but you've all probably want to, you know, what's going on with Joji's teeth? <laughs> I get like this, you will learn this as you feel sorry for my wife because she's been through this for years. So, having no teeth, when I had them all, I had, so my plan was to have them all taken out, which I did, and then get false teeth. But then COVID hit, and then it couldn't get this done, then it couldn't hit again, then it couldn't happen again, then it couldn't happen again. And as time went on, my gums got really, really hard. And you'd be surprised what you can eat with real hard gums. And then I look at my age, and I look at myself, and this is where my don't give a fuck attitude comes in. I don't care if people who look at me don't like me having no teeth. I don't care what they think about me having no teeth. I don't care what they think I look like or sound like. It doesn't bother me what people think about me. It really doesn't. I'm not a person to go, oh, I don't have any teeth in my mouth. I'm really feeling, um, what's the word? Um, Self-conscious. Self I don't. I just don't <laughs> give a fuck. I never have. So, yes, teeth would be nice. But two grand to buy some teeth. So I look better for you. Did you have a shave yesterday? No. Well, why didn't you have a shave? Because I'm not at work. You 
scruffy bum. You can't see your friends there. I don't even just notice your face. I'm going to see my friends. I'm driving an hour from my work to go and see them, and an hour home to go and spend time with them. That's how you've made a salad. That's enough of an effort for the for me. I don't need a shave for them. <laughs> it's Mike and Dawn. Who, they won't give a crap. I suppose. I'll shave tomorrow when I'm back at work. So my cows look at me nice. Oh my god. <laughs> so, so yeah, teeth. Oh look, 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 if, look. If you want to chuck me two grand to buy some teeth, I'll have them. Otherwise, it's not a big deal. Um, one day, yeah, maybe I'll get some. Um, the money I raised from you guys for my teeth paid for my teeth to be taken out, and that was freaking awesome because that was a major, and that's what I really wanted done. Um, so yeah, I don't know what Mumsy thinks. I about. think I think also you don't want to hit, you don't want to. Um, I'm scared a little bit too. He's a little bit scared because <laughs> he's heard that. I've heard a I lot of stories. Heard, he's had and so have I about when you get um, false teeth. You know you've got a they have to mold it into your gum, and you have to get used to those the teeth. And you haven't had teeth for such a long time. You're like, what the heck, you know? And you know, and sometimes they don't stick properly. You know, you've got, they use like glue, some sort of glue to stick yeah. them in, there, in your mouth. And sometimes they fall out. And I don't want, um, I don't want them to hit my gums and, and rub and cut wanna, my gums. Yeah, and cut your gums. I don't want to bite my, my tongue because I've got yeah, teeth in exactly. my mouth. And it's re they are really hard to get used to because you're not used to having anything in your mouth for a long time. And, you know, it's just... There was a lady I used to, when I used to work at for, um, Healthcare New Zealand. Um, I used to look after a lady and she had... She got... Um, she had false teeth, but they, they wear down after a time, and she had to renew her top teeth. And she um, got these top teeth moulded into her face, well, she thought, and they didn't fit properly. They kept falling out all the time, so she had to keep going back to the, um, the dentist and saying, oh, you know, this is, it keeps falling out, and they kept, they fiddled around with her, her, her teeth for, I don't know, God knows how long, a long time. And, but, she had found it really hard to eat anything hard because every time she ate something hard her teeth would fall out and she was just like oh my god you know and she was an old lady and you know she was just like no no this isn't happening and in the end she took them out and she never wore them again and i don't really want brett to do that because it's a lot of money down the drain isn't it yeah, it is. And you would. You get frustrated. I'd throw them away. Yeah, exactly. You'd get really pissed, pissed off, off and throw them, them away. throw them away. And they'd be like, God, that was a waste of, you know, $1,500 or whatever it was. And I was, yeah, so I don't really want that to happen. But neither do you, do you really? No. I don't have patience. He'd rather, he'd rather spend $1,500 on like, uh, toy cars. Toy cars, yeah. Yeah. And to you guys, it might not, you might think that's silly, but. This is me and my life and what I want to do. And um, don't get me wrong, if, if I could have an easy transition to have some teeth, I probably would. Yeah. But, you know, it doesn't bother me. And any and anyone who knows me and is in my, like, loves me or is part of me or, or supports me doesn't give a fuck anyway. And if you're going to laugh at me or, or give me shit about it, then I don't give a I don't really want to know you anyway, so it's, you know, I don't, I'm not a person to care about what other people think. Um, I don't think anybody should <coughs> care about what anyone thinks, but society is so, I don't know, we're so obsessed with, you know, own a house, have two kids, white picket fence, 86, 90 kg, perfect weight, don't eat this, don't drink that. You live like this, live like that, you need to look like this. Society already puts so much pressure on people, it's just... And unfortunately for the world we live in, so many people buy... What, <laughs> so many people... <laughs> there's the snort. So many people buy into what we should act and how we should look and how we should live. And when they don't have that perfect waistline, or the perfect size tits, or the perfect size ass, or the perfect car, 
or the perfect house with all the new appliances in it, they get depressed and then they want to do something to their face or do something to their body or do something to their car. Or they always want to do something so people look at them like they are a success. I have found over the years that it, what, a, what success is to me is how many people come and grieve at my funeral one day or grieve for me or will miss me or will be sad when I'm not around not the size of my house or how I look you know I 100% believe is how you treat people and how you live your life and what you do with your life is more important than trying to stay up with the Joneses to be honest it's society is just killing us and we're allowing it to happen and it's sad you know oh if you've got tattoos all over you you must be this you must be that you can't have a job doing this it's so wrong but we allow it and we allow this sort of crap to happen and oh you you've, you you've got too much weight you can't do this for a living or you shouldn't do this or you should feel ashamed why you know, I just don't get it. I don't get how society puts so much pressure on people to be a certain way in life. You should just live so you're happy, not society. And I know people, literally, I know people that will buy something that society can see to make them look like they're a success but they owe so much money if they lost their job for two weeks and had to sell it all. <coughs> and I don't, but on the outside they look at great success. Nice house, nice area, nice toys, but it's all maxed credit cards, it's all maxed debt. And so you're doing all that, you're putting all that stress on your life for debt to try to come across so people will accept you. In reality, the only people who accept you are people who like you for you. That's my theory anyway. Anyway, that's enough rambling. Could be videos just gonna go on and on and on. I could talk for hours, but you probably don't want to just keep hearing me talk crap for days on end. But I'll check back in here with you on the way back, because Mike and Dawn, I'm gonna go for a little bit of a scab, see if I can find anything in their house. I want a couple of plants things like that, see if there's something around there I can take some cuttings off to take home with me. <laughs> but I'll catch up with you on the way home or um, upload this video tomorrow. I always upload my videos in the mornings now when I'm at work because in our cow shed we have ultra fucking fibre or whatever it's called broadband like it's quick and if I upload this and down, up, download right. or upload whatever it's called, if I do this at home it'll take fucking right. six or seven hours. So I'll upload this video tomorrow and um, I'll come back to with you when I'm on my way home from Mike and Dawn's after lunch. So we have just left Mike and Dawn's. It was so nice to get off the farm and go and see some friends and have some lunch. And, but after doing that I have 100% decided I don't want neighbours again. <laughs> neighbours are so close. So close. Like so close. It was crazy when you can pass your neighbour a cup of coffee. Up and that's the thing, there. hey, passing someone a cup of coffee out here. No, no. no. Don't get me wrong, farm has a lot of smells to it that, that townies don't like, but I've got so much space. Mm. I don't know about they've this. They've got a dairy though, that's about the good, uh, yeah, good thing. Yeah, look, they've got a dairy and stuff. We've got a driver just to, to get owls and stuff like that, but. Yeah, so we decided that because we were used to live on Thornton Road in Whakatane, it's only 10 minutes difference out of our way, so we're just going to go for a little bit of a detour and have a nosy, <laughs> and then back home. So thanks for watching this video of us yapping. Just yapping. Yapping, but it's quite interesting because <laughs> we're all going past the motorbike. Yeah, no, I put me back on the farm. Um, it's quite interesting because a lot of people have been talking about Debbie, you know, like 
it's quite good having Debbie on my shot, you know, in my channel, and she's talking more now. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. I think they like seeing you. Sure. Yeah. Boy. They don't have to live with you though, so you know. Get <laughs> so, yep. <laughs> so, I'm um, glad you guys like these videos. I don't know where my next one will be. Just found out that I've got a shorter shift. I've got an eight day shift this time because the Easter's coming up. So, I work Good Friday. Well, you do a video next week then. Yeah, I will. We're thinking about going to Taupo and just um, okay. going out in the lake for the day. So, I might make a video when we go there. But I work Good Friday, Easter Saturday, and then after milking on Easter Sunday, I have that off, and I have Easter Monday and the next day Tuesday off. So that's quite. Sunday off. Right, well, milk. Oh, so you got Monday Tuesday off? No, I got Monday Tuesday off. Yeah, that's what I just said. Yeah, but right. remember, I milk and feed it on, on Easter Sunday, oh, and then yeah. my day's done. Oh yeah. So I'll be home by ten thirty in the morning, and that's it for the next two and a half days. Easter. Yeah. So I still get up and milk. Yep. I was just looking at me, um, my work calendar because next Sunday is um, Daylight Saving Ends and you have to get up an hour early and I was like, oh, I think that's not my day at work, but it's my last day at work, so I have to get up an hour earlier. <laughs> well, it's only eight days though, it's not like it's your rough day. No, it isn't. Isn't it funny how we go, it's only eight days? It's only eight days there. Isn't it, funny how, it? isn't it funny how you say... It's only eight days. Oh, shush. But you don't have to get up for those eight days. Well, I do. I have to get up for the dog. Stop it. Stop it yourself. Stop it, man. <laughs> well, for us townies, then, I'm obviously a townie, even though I live on a farm. Anyway, eight days is, is, a, is a lot shorter than 12. But for a townie, they'd be like, eight days? Are you nuts? Eight days is nothing to to 12. So, anyway. Enough rambling. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll upload it tomorrow when I'm at the cow shed. And probably see you again over uh, Easter. Be good. Be kind. Don't eat too much chocolate over Easter. And, uh. Maybe that, yeah, hot cross buns. Eat your hot cross buns. What you do, you know. And we shall see you. Uh, for an Easter video. It's just later. Bye.